y equals mx plus b form of the equation of a line. So the m is the slope. Slope is like a ski slope. It's like the angle of the line. It's, you know, it's the rate at which it increases or it's the rate at which it decreases. And the b is like the y-intercept. That's like the starting uh, value. It's like what you start at and then you either go up from there based on the slope or you go down from there based on the slope. This is a constant. It's just a number. So let's take a look at some examples how to work with these uh, equations. So here it says find the equation of the line through the points 2, 5 and 5, 14. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the slope of the line that goes through these two points. And we're going to do that by using the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this is point number one, so we're going to say x1, y1. And this is point number two, so we're going to say x2, y2. So we're going to subtract y2 minus y1, so 14 minus 5, over x2 minus x1, which is 5 minus 2. So we get 9 over 3, which equals 3. That's our slope. That's our rate of increase of our line. Okay, now what we need to do is we just need to find the b value, the y-intercept, and we're going to do that by picking one of these points. I'm going to pick the smaller point, okay, the one with the smaller numbers, just because it's easier to work with. And let's go and put this in our equation. We have y equals 3x plus b. So all I did was I put the slope in for m, okay, that's 3. But we need to find out what b is. So by putting 2 and 5, 5 for y, 2 for x, we can solve for b. So this is 6 equals 5 plus b. By subtracting 6, we can see that b equals negative 1. And by putting that back into our equation for b, we have the equation of our line. So it's y equals 3x minus 1. Okay, so far so good? All right, so now let's see if we can graph this, just so we can take a look at the graph. So basically what we have here is, here's the x-axis, here's the y-axis, we're starting at negative 1, that's our y-intercept, that's where it crosses the y-axis. So it's crossing right down here at negative 1, and the slope is 3. Now if you have a whole number you can write it as a fraction by putting it over 1, because anything divided by 1 is itself. So the numerator is the rise, the denominator is the run, so we're going to be going up 3 and over 1. So from here I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, and write 1. And you can repeat that process, up 3, over 1 and go ahead and draw a line through those points and that's the graph of your line. Okay, let's take a look at another example. This one, same idea, we're going to find the equation line that goes through these two points. So we're going to do the slope formula again. We're going to take y2 minus y1, so 2 minus negative 1, over x2 minus x1, which is 4 minus 7. So we get 3 over negative 3, which equals negative 1. Okay, now we need to find out what our b value is. So by doing that, uh, to do that, we're going to go ahead and pick one of these uh, coordinates, either this point or this point. I'm going to pick this one here, 4, 2. So I'm going to put 2 in for y. I'm going to put 4 in for x. And we're going to solve for b. So this is negative 4 plus b equals 2. I'm going to add the 4 to the other side. So b equals 6. I'm going to put the 6 back in for b. Okay. And so we get y equals negative 1x plus 6. Now if I'm going a little bit too fast, you know, you can go to the settings, you can actually slow this down to like half speed, or you could just go ahead and, you know, back up and repeat a part of the video. But so far we've got our equation here, negative 1x plus 6. We're going to graph it, just like we did this one. The y-intercept is 6, so we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, right here. And the slope is negative 1, which is like negative 1 over 1. So we're going to go down 1, right one, down one, right one, and so on. And you can see that there's a graph of that line. Okay, last problem. I want to show you a little uh, story problem here just to give you some experience with these. It says you run two miles per week, okay, and so far you have run 23 miles. Write an equation that gives the number of miles run in weeks for starting from today, okay? So here's the thing. When you work with these equations of a line, Okay, we know that m is the slope and we know that b is the y-intercept, right? But in a word problem or a story problem or a real life situation, we're not really given like the slope and the y-intercept. We're given the rate of increase, right? Or the rate of decrease or the rate of change. That's really like, you know, a key thing to look for. That's the slope, that's the change. 
and then we're giving a starting amount, like an initial value or a beginning amount, okay? So if we go back to this problem, you can see that our beginning amount is the 23 miles that we've already run, and we're running two miles per day, sorry, per week, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say y equals 2x, okay, that's our rate of increase, we're increasing our mileage by two miles every week, we're adding that to what we've already run, that's our initial value, 23. So now we have an equation, y equals 2x plus 23. So if 10 weeks pass, that would be 2 times 10, which is 20, plus the 23, you've accumulated 43 miles. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. I hope that you're picking up little pointers that are gonna make a difference in your grade and in your understanding. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you know, go ahead and feel free to uh, give me any comments or helpful uh, hints that I can make these videos uh, better and more uh, helpful for you. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.